Hi, my name is Mark, and this is the love of my life, Aja. After retiring from the Army in 2018, my family and I moved from the States to my wife's hometown of Szczecin, Poland. She followed me around for 18 years, so now it's only fair that I do the same for her. She runs a Polish cooking food channel and blog, and I lift the heavy things. Once in a while, she shuts down the kitchen, and we explore Poland together to find as much good food as we can. Welcome to Kitchens Closed. Hello, my hungry friends. Hi. It's Friday in Kitchens Closed. It seems to be Friday a lot lately. Yeah. <laughs> Today on Kitchens Closed, we are in the mountains. Mountains. Can you see? You can kind of see a hill. That's... We promise we're in the mountains. We are just past Wałbrzych, <laughs> which is straight south from uh, Szczecin down to Wrocław and then further south. And we have done some hiking and I am really tired. Yeah, and then I said, let's go do more stuff. And so what are we going to go do? We're going to go see ruins of a sanatorium. And what is a sanitarium? Sanatorium. Sanatorium is like a old version of a spa. Right, so it's where you for go medical, to like, For medical reasons. Yeah, it's for like to get good mountain airs and breathes and recuperation. And, and do stuff. rehabilitation and. Yeah, stuff so like, like that. physical therapies. Physical therapy. Okay, so this one is apparently broken. This one, it's, it says ruins. We're going to see how ruined it is. But then you also see some pictures of us walking up this stupid tall mountain today. Yeah, just pictures though, I don't think we took any video. <laughs> And then we have a city to visit. We have a cool chapel that's really going to be creepy, I think. And so this may be a few episode episode. Nah, maybe. We'll see. So come along. Come on. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Oh, wait. We're going the wrong way. Oh, wait. <laughs> We are in a small town right in the foothills of Sudeti Mountains in the village of Kovalova and uh, we googled some interesting things to see in the area and this was one of them. Uh, it's a sanatorium as we were talking uh, before. It used to be a place where you come to rejuvenate, get better and uh, this was built in late 1800s and uh, we are actually in the area of Poland that was uh, given to Poland after WW2. And in uh, 1945, when German, when this land was given to Poland and Poles from Far East started to come and live here, some German families were living in the area as well. And they, uh, I'm told that they lived together for about a year before Germans moved over the border, which is not far from here. So, <laughs> That's kind of awkward. <laughs> yeah, must have been really awkward. But this sanatorium Grunwald is, uh, has been o t taken over by the city and is being renovated and going to be turned into art galleries and space for uh, photography and museums and uh, film. So kind of artsy fartsy stuff. Yeah, that's cool. You can uh, you can see that there's obviously renovations beginning. Yes, it's huge. It Did looks it... like a really big facility, and I think it's going to be really awesome to see after it's been. Yeah, we'll have to come back. Huh? It's going to take a lot of years and not a lot of money to renovate this, yeah. but super cool. Look at some pictures. Right on. Let's go.
Chciałbym sobie wyobrazić życie bez Polski. Ok, what does that mean? Can't imagine life without Poland. Oh, that's... This is kitschy cooler town. It's it actually is. not uh, Kowalowa anymore. No, it's that town over there that I put a picture of. Yeah. I thought we were still in the same city, but this is a fun little cluster of sanatoriums and I think old folks' homes. There's cute cafe right here behind there me. There is. Look at that and guy go. Like a little restaurant. I think it's like they, they're going for artsy, cool. Shabby chic. Shabby chic. No, I place, shouldn't say that. That's place nice. to visit, you know? Like come here and visit our cool little town. It is a cool little town. Let's go explore some more. I had a little luck. Oh. Oh yeah, no pattern yes, clearly. Meowim mom, like I have. Past tense. Profa, a little I didn't know that last one. Steinsta? Huh? Steinsta? Steinsta. Oh, that's in a couple songs I know. electrical poles in Europe. <laughs> I do. So a lot of them are concrete, just a solid concrete post going all the way up. They last a hundred years, no problem. But when they want to do wood, they do a concrete base, right? And then the electrical pole soaked in the same stuff we do in the States, creosote and all kinds of tar and essence, but then they bolt it to it and then it won't rot as fast because it's not in the ground. And then when you need to replace it, you don't have to dig every time. You just unbolt it from the back, put in a new pole, Bob's your uncle, you're done. That's smart. I like that. Bardzo dużo pamiętamy sala sale o tym nie wiedz. Okay. Nie wiedząc. So, really a lot I remember. It says we we remember a lot. Yeah, bardzo dużo. It's really a lot. Remember, I don't know this one. Wcale o tym nie wiedząc, not even knowing. We remember not even knowing. Yeah. That's some deep stuff. <laughs> so we are in this small village right here, Sokołowsko. Tu jesteś. Tu jesteś, and then. Today we hiked from Kowalowa up into this ridge up here and this is the border with Czech. So when we got up here in oh. the mountains somewhere, oh. our phones said, welcome to Czech Republic. We did. We didn't have, I didn't have my passport with me or nothing. If we would have got on that side of the road, that could have been silly. But there's silly. all these lines, red and blue or whatever. The hiking trails, uh -huh. and you have green, green, red, yellow, blue, another blue, and then you can take them around. That's we saw really cool. we saw a bunch of people with super huge hiking packs coming from the mountains. Like they go up there and they spend some time. Yeah, hiking. like a couple of days going yeah. from place to place and. Yeah, we're big sissies. We yes. went up one ridge. And then we said, that's good now. For three kilometers? Four? <laughs> Almost four. <laughs> but, <laughs> that's good now, thank you. Come to Poland. Yeah, 
The best thing about finding blueberries way up here in the mountains is what? no dogs have peed on them. And just bears. Just bears. A little bear piss is good for you. That's what grandpa always used to say. <laughs> you come to Poland. guys at the Kichiku village with the ruins of the sanatoriums we went back to the hotel and very angry weather came at us it was, it was all I don't know the the weather had an attitude last night I was all like mm -mm. <laughs> and it was telling us all about all the things that we did wrong it was pissed yeah, it was pissed <laughs> And it was pissing everywhere too. Oh no, don't hit this motorcycle. motorcycle. There's a little tiny motorcycle guy. Hey, good job, buddy. Anywho, so we had a interesting night's sleep. It thunderstormed all night long. It was all like, do you want, it was like. <laughs> and then Aja got scared. Then you had to hold me. Mm -hmm. And then the neighbors knocked on the door and asked if they'd come to bed too because they were scared. And they're like 65 years old, so it's weird. No, no, that happened. Anyway, where are we going today, my love? So today is uh, day, what, our third day here in the Montagnes. Montagnes. And we uh, decided to take a little drive since the weather is kind of spotty. The, it's calling for a little rain later. Um, and we, since we did a super huge hike yesterday, we decided to have kind of exercise down day. Yeah, because so, otherwise we're going to break ourselves. Yeah, so we're driving to Kudovazdrui, which <laughs> uh, is not far, only like 60 kilometers, I think. But through these mountain roads, it's taking us an hour and a half to get there. And it first routed us to Czech Republic, which I wish we had... Mark had his passport, we could drive through Czech. Yeah, but that's not my fault. Remember when we took you guys to Warsaw and I went to the embassy? Embassy. Um, embassy. To get my <laughs> passport. Well, there's apparently. <laughs> well, we're still waiting on it. And this, this boggles my mind. Why do I say I want to say this? This boggles my mind. They said it'd be ready in seven days, then mailed to our house in Szczecin. Well, it was, it's been like two weeks, three weeks, and I called and they said, Oh, what's your name? And I said herning and they said oh whoa yep yep there's a problem I said, what's the problem there's some sort of supply issue or printing issue in the United States so the richest country in the world can't reboot its printer to print off these things. did you ask them they turned it on <laughs> and off again <laughs> like, hey, you guys, just go get Karen from IT and just turn it on turn it... anyway uh, so we're waiting on that. I don't have a passport right now so we can't go to check and so, in so yeah, in Kudavas Zdroy, we are going to we're going to check out a chapel called Skull Chapel. <laughs> and if you uh, are sensitive to stuff like that, you might not want to see it because it's a chapel made of human remains. Bones. Yep, but bones. So, and not just like one or two. <laughs> it's not just a couple bones. Yeah. From the pictures that I've seen of this place. It's pretty bony. Yeah. Yep. So, and then we'll probably eat something. Not the bones, though. Not the bones. Ooh, cool old record, record church. Oh, yeah. This, I've been amazed at this, at this little area uh, in Poland and in 
the mountains and the beautifulness. In Dolny Shlonsk. Yeah, but lower, it also... No, lower Silesia. It also makes me a little bit sad because... The, the economy here What's took such making a hit. You sad? Well, the economy here took such a big hit after World War II that it's just starting to now wake back up again. And all these beautiful areas with all these old, beautiful homes that desperately need renovation and stuff, it's slowly happening, and I hope it does, because people deserve to come see this area. It's beautiful, and the people that live here deserve to share it. So, come to Poland, come to these little mountain villages, check it out. This area has like the most cluster of uh, ruins and uh, castles that still remain in Poland. Oh, and something else that I found quite unique about traveling in Poland on these back roads is if you flip the camera, my love, these were like cart paths back in the day and farmers and people would line them with these trees that you see on either side of this road so that it would help with erosion of the road and give them shade as they travel. Well, now it's 2021 and as you drive down here you can see a lot of these trees have scars on their bark. I don't know if you can not this speed, but they do because they're death trees. <laughs> You're driving along and if you make a little mistake uh, it's your ass, Mr. Postman. Yeah. You're going to get it. And then when you meet a car oncoming, you got to slow it. Like, the, 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 this, oh, yeah. this, this, this one got schmuckered. Yeah, recently. <laughs> not funny. So you got to pay attention. Funny, funny not funny. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> but I digest. So we're on our way to show you this wonderful thing, and hopefully it's worth seeing. Which shirt are you wearing today? I'm wearing Meat Hammer. I'm wearing... Keep calm and make kielbasa. <laughs> <laughs> when one, you don't want to make kielbasa if you're not calm. No. It doesn't, if you don't know why, watch our video on making kielbasa and you'll see why you need to be calm whilst doing it. Onward. Onward, my lover. We'll see you in Kudova Zdroj. Bye. <laughs>behind me is an ossuary chapel of St. Bartholomew's Church here in Kudova Zdroj. And what's interesting about this chapel is it is a mass grave for many, many thousands of people. Now I was kind of, I was kind of excited to get here and see something like this, but we just came from inside there. We can't take pictures, you can't take video inside. Uh, we'll get some pictures from the internet, we'll buy a postcard and scan it so you can see what it's like. But the fact that it hit me that it's a mass grave hit me really hard as I went in. And the first thing I noticed was that a lot of the skulls were much smaller than the other ones. What does that mean? It means children. So the people who are interred here uh, died... Well, they were placed here in between 1776 and 1805, I believe it was. We'll double check that. But uh, by a priest of St. Bartholomew's who built this and put the bones on display. Now he gathered the bones from different mass grave sites in the area from the Thirty Years War um, and from cholera outbreaks uh, and other things of that nature. Now there are over 3,000 skulls adorning the uh, walls of the church and over 21,000 remains in the basement. The basement is a crypt that was four meters deep and they showed us uh, the skulls and the bones were up to the up to the top of the basement uh, 200 years ago and now there's a good meter and a half gap between the floor and the top of the bones so I guess they're decomposing slowly. Something else 
uh, that I noticed about the skulls, I don't know if you did, Aja, is that most of them didn't have any teeth in the skulls. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. Now, I have a theory behind that, and if somebody knows better than me, let me know in the comments. But two theories. One, there wasn't a lot of oral hygiene back then, so people did get bad teeth, and what'd you do then? You yanked them. It was, and they'd even died before that. So 1776 is when they were being interred. So the eight, 30 years war happened in the 1600s. But what a lot of people don't know is that a lot of war dead are stripped of their teeth by people who sell them to make dentures and stuff. So there was literally people who would run around battlefields after battles, yanking people's teeth and selling them. That's disgusting. But, I don't know how to feel about them being on display because most, I don't know if any of these people chose to be on display in a, in a church for their final they, resting place. They didn't choose. They, they died because they were either sick or they were slaughtered. Yeah. Nobody but there are, there are places, I know, uh, crypts and things like do this in France and other places where people have chosen to be part of it and it's a big honor to be rested on sacred ground. I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know. Sad uh, to see this amount of human remains. Yeah, all in one, one, place. All in one place. It is quite heavy. And it also makes me sad that a lot of them are small children. Yeah. But what is, I guess, kind of uplifting is that they, you know, they did find a resting place. They did. That is true. That is and true. They were all in very shallow graves. They were mass graves before. They were, there were so many, so many dead that they didn't, people didn't have resources or time to bury people properly. Yeah. That's how fast the war died. That's a true statement as well. So they did find a, a final resting place. I don't know. You guys, you can make your own decisions about this, whether it's right, wrong, whether we should have shown it or not. But it is a thing that exists here in Poland and we're sharing everything. So, there you go. I, I was starving before we went in. Now I don't know if I'm so hungry anymore. But I think I can find my appetite. Okay, let's try. Alright, let's go. <laughs> this is really loud some things. Is that geese? Is that geese? That's not a geese, that's a chicken. That's What do the barn animals say? Oh, and then there's this guy. What are you doing? I immediately love this place. He's hanging out. Yeah. They ain't got nothing, they ain't fish. How's the fish, my love? It's actually really delicious. I think they go for volume here. Oh yeah. So you know it's fresh. <clears throat> but what's typical is that you will see this, that fish is a lot of times served with head on, which I wouldn't think twice about it if I didn't live in America for 20 years and wouldn't know that Americans are kind of sensitive about that kind of stuff, aren't you? I personally do not like eating anything with a head still attached to it. I think a lot of people where I'm from in the North Woods probably wouldn't care so much. Okay. But other places that don't regularly hunt and fish on their own food probably might have a sensitivity to it. Whoa, is it draining out? Yeah. Uh, if you come to a, uh, a place where, I'm guessing this is river trout, that's why I'm in the mountain region, or if you come to the seaside where you get fish, fried fish like this as well, if it doesn't say fillet, it'll have the head on, which I don't mind. Looks like it's all coming clean off the board. Nice, mm, eh? Very good. Nice and fresh. Very good. I'm, I'm happy for you. <laughs> <laughs> My fries were amazing, by the way. No. When, when we got married a uh, long time ago and Mark came to Poland for the first time, we were walking in a small village <laughs> and there were chickens. <laughs> there were chickens uh, walking nearby. And I've never seen a chicken up close. I, I hadn't. We don't have them everywhere in 
like in my town I grew up in Suburbiaville, we didn't have chickens, and I never saw a chicken, well, except for Kentucky Fried. Yeah. So show me your cock. It's over there. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> So what'd you think about this chapel today? I've been thinking about it and I... How do you start... The, my idea... How, what I've been thinking is, how do you start this, right? And I was wondering if, like, in, back in 17-something, out in the middle of Nowhereville, there's this priest all by himself, he's bored out of his mind. And, and maybe he's, like, maybe he's not all together there and he's digging up bodies and somebody's, like... He's comes, grave digging? Yeah, he's, like, grave robbing or grave digging or whatever. Mm. And somebody walks up and is like, uh, what are you doing, bro? He's like, um, huh, uh, what's well, so I have an idea. <laughs> and they're like, yeah? So what if we took all these bones and I clean them out real pretty like and put them up in, close there to, in the church? And, um, you know, it'll be like decorations. And then their response would be what? Yeah. <laughs> That's a really good idea. Well, they're I mean, just laying here. You, they're here already. Like, could you imagine that in 2021? You know, you go out to the cemetery, somebody's digging up bodies. <laughs> and you're like, what are you doing? And you're like, well, we're opening a new church, so... <laughs> we need some bones. I need to decorate. <laughs> what? I don't know. Something sketchy about the whole thing. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, that's what happens inside my brain. <laughs> Keep drinking. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> I will. So we're sitting here, enjoying a little bit of wine. You're a sabotager. And a little charcuterie board. Charcuterie. Uh, plate. With them, some essentials, you know, cheese and meat sticks and tomatoes and olives. And Mark was just telling me about something about common sense uh, nope, nope, of nope, a woman nope. and packing things. What it's was a it lie. Again? I have no idea. You're a liar. You're not a liar. I'm sorry. What were you saying? I don't want, I don't know. Do you want me to take my charcuterie board away? No, and okay. go and play with my uh, own I'll take away my food. <laughs> I always complain because Aja brings too much shish stuff with us everywhere. But in our room right now is our ice maker churning out ice for the wine. Nobody else in the hotel, this hotel <laughs> has ice, so we have ice. And I always whine because we pack too much food and things, and yet I'm over here enjoying the board de la cheese and meats. So I said, I appreciate all the stuff that she has. I don't like packing things, go away. <laughs> Hope you're enjoying it. Stop it. That's our episode, friends. Thanks for tagging along. In the next episode, we'll take you to... A city that is called the Prague of the North. At least we're calling it that. That's what we're calling it, and I think Wikipedia called it that too. And there we're going to show you things and a fort and... Ooh, big fort. Big fort and, and some we'll, soup. And we'll eat things. And we'll eat things. Delicious so, things. Make sure you follow, like, and subscribe. Check out www.polishkitchen.com, and we'll see you next time. Bye! No, that, no! Do widzenia! Bye! Good thing they put those big spiky oh, rocks Jesus. on the side so you don't, you know, burden your tires. This is the best road ever. This the, that's why it took us to check. <laughs> it did. They have better roads. We'll call check. We'll go back. Oh, no. Holy shit. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> ah. <laughs> oh, sweet baby Jesus. Are we making you sick? Odin's <laughs> ravens, look at this. This is the end of Poland. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>